Yo, what is up, guys, and welcome to a new series on my channel, Pokemon Sh uh, Showdown. This game is online, it's free. You guys uh, have a link in the description below if you want to play this game. And if you would like to play with me, hit me up on my Twitter and my so other social accounts, which will be in the description below. Today, we're going to be going up against Ethan and two other random guys. So, thank you guys for tuning in in advance. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Now, I'm going to start off this battle with my Amphrost, just so that way I can get in my Mega Evolution Volt Switch real quick, so that way it'll be already there, and we don't have to worry about going back to it later. And I forgot about the immunity. How the hell? I mean, well, I didn't forget about the immunity, but... I wasn't paying that much attention. Um, I apologize. Like I forgot, Don Fan would have basically like rendered my move useless. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to hit a hydro pump real fast. It's probably not gonna work, and it actually does. It's super effective with 61% of health. He hits me with an earthquake, and that was a pretty good move, Ethan. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use Aerodactyl just so that way I can stay away from the earthquakes that he's dishing out, and I can also put my Stealth Rocks up there after I defog his Stealth Stealth Rocks away. So let's go ahead and put that plan in motion. He's gonna use Knock Off. He's gonna do some pretty decent damage, 29.3%. That's not really bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and set up these Stealth Rocks. He goes for a switch, which is pretty good for me. Now he comes in with this Needle King, and I'm pretty much worried about this thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw in this Breloom real fast, and I'm gonna go ahead and set up this Leech Seed. Now he's gonna use Ice Beam, and he's gonna take this Breloom out. Pretty, pretty fast, and I'm going to go ahead and switch into my Swampert. Now, with Swampert, I'm going to go for the Earthquake. I'm just going to test the water and see how good is he going to, how good is the Earthquake going to fare against this Needle King. He's going to go for a switch into Lily Gant, which is going to get hit, but it's going to resist. It's resistant, so it doesn't take too much damage, only up to about 42%. But I'm going to go ahead and use this Avalanche and take the, this Lily Gant out, and we're going to move on to the next one. So, so far he has taken out like two of my Pokemon, and I've only taken out that Lily Gant, so I really need to step my game up. And he comes out with this Azumarill, so of course I'm going to go straight into my Amphrost, my Mega Amphrost I should say. And he's going to use Belly Drum, so I'm expecting the um play rough, so I'm going to go ahead and hit this Thunder real fast, taking this thing out. I can't play any game, sorry Ethan, I just can't, but it was a pretty good idea. I generally had the same idea, but I run Substitute on mine. So that's how I keep like my um my zoom reel from falling. So yeah, that's just a little tip for you if you didn't know or if you just don't do it, then I can understand. But that's just how I play it. And seeing as to the fact that I don't need Mega Amphrost too too much anymore, I'm just gonna go for a Volt Switch. And he hits him with an Ice Beam, taking him out of quest because he's partially dragging. So I'm gonna come in with this Aegis Slash. And I'm going to go for the King Shield. I mean, I'm not going to go for the King Shield. I'm going to go for the Source Dance. He's probably going to go for a Switch, or he's probably going to go for a Setup or something like that himself. So I'm not really sure. We just have to see. He goes for the Earth Power. I'm immune because of my Balloon, which is pretty good because I really wasn't expecting like the Balloon to come in handy too, too much. I just put it on there because I knew if he took any ground hits, basically that could have meant the end of him. And he hits me with an Ice Beam, which does 33.0%, and I hit him with a Shadow Sneak that does 74% health. And that's, a pre that's some pretty good damage from like a... Um, from Aegis Slash. Now, he did pop that balloon, and I was too busy doing my commentary to actually realize that, like, my balloon was no longer there anymore. I tried to go for a Stone Edge and misses. He goes for an Ice Beam, taking me out real fast, and I'm going to go ahead and come in with my Swamper here, which I was trying to keep out of the battle for as long as possible, but it seems like it's imminent now. And I'm going to go ahead and go for the Earthquake here. He's going to hit me with Earth Power. He's going to take out more than half of my health, like 46... Well, he takes out... Hmm... He I don't know because I don't really see the numbers here. So I'm going to go for another Earthquake here on this Dawn fan. Taking that out as well. He's probably going to go ahead and try to drop this Dragonite on me or this Metacham. I'm just going to go ahead and Avalanche or Earthquake away, whatever he brings at me. But he might take me out here with this Dragonite with like a Thunder Fang or something like that. So if he does, good game, Ethan. But it seemed like I actually take this thing out with one Avalanche, which is just mind-blowing to me because I've never seen that happen to any Dragon that I've used Avalanche on. So to see that like in my time of desperation was pretty good. I'm going to go for the Earthquake here on this Metacham. If my Swampert can survive the next hit, 
I'm not really sure. He goes for the Zen headbutt and it takes me out. So that was a damn good, damn good battle, Ethan. Good game. Um, I'm definitely going to be playing some more Pokemon Showdown with Ethan. So you guys stay tuned for that. And we'll, I'll see you guys in the next one. Welcome back, guys. To, right now, we're going to be going up against a team that's made of a Charizard, Ferrothorn, Rotom Wash, Aegislash, Cressilia, and a Conkeldor. Now, the main thing that I should be worried about is, of course, the Charizard. So I'm going to go ahead and set up with this Ampharos. Just as I did before, he's going to come out with the Charizard, probably expecting to go ahead and get his Mega Evolution off as well. I'm going to go for the Thunder. I know he was going to go for the Switch. I'm still going to go for it anyway, but it's probably not going to do too much because of resistance due to the Iron. I mean, it's still plus typing on this feral thorn and it's grass already so it's not gonna do too too much but i'm gonna go ahead and switch out here into well actually i'm not gonna switch out. i'm gonna go for this fire punch it's gonna be super effective he's gonna do stealth rocks of course it's a pretty good it's a pretty good time to set up i mean like even though he does know i have fire punch which actually winds up taking him out this turn um, he, of course, he would rather get his stealth rocks up. Now, I do have Defog with my Aerodactyl, so I'm not really too worried about them right now. And he sends out this Conkeldor, but it seems like I'm going to actually need my Ampharos for later. For later, So I'm going to go ahead and jump the gun and move on to my Aegislash here because of the fact that Conkeldor is physical. And you guys already know I can King Shield this thing to being weak as hell. So let's go ahead and get right into it. King Shield, he's going to go for a switch into his Charizard which is pretty good game because he is going to be able to probably get off his mega evolution here now i'm going to go for the king shield just to see which type he has and he has charizard y so now that we have that information i can go ahead and switch in with my azumarill expect the switch here and i'm going to go ahead and actually go for my substitute once i put my substitute up i can go for my belly drum and he actually goes for the solar beam here but it doesn't take me out which is pretty fucking amazing so i actually get my substitute out here he's gonna have to get rid of the substitute before he can do anything so i'm gonna hit him with a clean hydro pump it's gonna be super effective but it's not gonna do too much and i'm gonna gain a little bit of health with my leftovers seeing as to how much my Azumarill has already been taken down. I might as well just go ahead and let him be collateral and die. So that way I don't waste any other Pokemon's health. Now, with this, I don't know who the hell I can come out with right now and actually beat the shit out of this thing with. So I'm going to come in with my Aerodactyl in desperation. And I'm going to go ahead and go for my Stealth Rocks first. Now, I probably should have went for the Stone Edge because it probably could have taken him out. But I'm actually going to go for my Stealth Rocks. And here I'm going to go ahead and go for my Stone Edge. Seeing as he went for the Solar Beam. And I'm going to take this Charizard Y out. It's pretty amazing. That's some pretty amazing damage right there. Like I'm very surprised by that. So that's a very good outcome from some Desperation moves. And we're, we have our Stealth Rocks up now. Of course I can go ahead and Defog the Field. Reset up my Stealth Rocks. And I don't have to worry about him having Stealth Rocks. And that could really come in handy in the future. Even though I do already have two of his Pokemon out. And I already know Pokemon Pokemon that can kill almost every Pokemon on his team right now, such as his Aegis Slash. I could just use my Ampharos here, my Mega Ampharos here, to um just basically destroy that thing, like with the Fire Punch, and it'll be over with. So he's gonna go ahead and use Ice Beam. Now I'm gonna go ahead and throw back up my Stealth Rocks since he can't. I'm pretty sure he don't have anything that can take away my Stealth Rocks. Now, this thing is Psychic, and I don't really know what take out Psychics except for Physical, so I'm going to go ahead and throw in my Breloom here, and I'm going to go for a Swords Dance. I'm going to go for the Swords Dance. Thank you, Breloom. And I'm hoping that I'm faster here, because I do have this thing. Well, this thing is Sculpt. I do have one that's, um, I forgot, whatever Sash it is that makes him faster, but I don't have it on this one, so I'm actually going to get killed here. Yeah, I guess I could see why, but I'm going to go ahead and come out with this Age of Slash now. I don't really know what the hell I'm doing, of course. This is another move of desperation, and I'm going to go ahead and go for a Source Dance here. Now, if he does wind up killing me with one Psychic or what's, or whatever, he, w of course, I will go ahead and admit defeat on this one. I could actually lose here, but I'm actually, he's actually going to go for a Switch. I'm going to predict something like a King Shield or something like that, so I'm going to go ahead and do this, and he's going to go ahead and go for a Shadow Claw. Now, I'm going to, I mean, yeah, a Shadow Claw, so I'm going to go ahead and get times three and go for a Shadow Sneak. He goes for his Shadow Sneak. He's faster. I guess I just have to deal with it, and I'm going to come in with this Ampharos. Now, if he doesn't remember, he probably won't switch out, but this Ampharos actually has 
excuse me, this Ampharos actually has Fire Punch. So that's enough to probably actually take this thing out, plus the Mega Evolution typing and, and things. He's actually going to go for the Switch here, which is pretty amazing because I really wasn't expecting it, like, for him to do it since he already went for an attack already. So I'm going to go ahead and go for this Thunder. Hopefully we can get this thing, because if we can get this Thunder, I'm pretty sure this Rotom Watch will be off the field. And it's really not. It's, it stays in with a little bit of health. 33%. That's not bad. But I'm going to go ahead and go for this vote switch here. Because once I get this thing off this battlefield, I can come in with this Swampert. Basically, some most of the team will be done with once Swampert gets onto this battlefield. So, And we actually have the same idea. He goes for the vote switch as well. I don't know who he's going to switch into. But whoever he switches into is going to get a quick thunder. Quick zap of lightning. Get them quick votes, and then I'm going to go ahead and switch into my Swampert. Now, this thing, I don't know if it has Balloon, but I'm going to go ahead and try to Earthquake it anyway. If Earthquake is successful, then for sure, for sure, then this Age of Slash is out of the picture. And he actually winds up quitting, so it was a pretty good game. I don't see why he quit. Like, we was actually having a pretty good game. I mean, Ampharos, I mean, I don't know. I don't know if I could have won or if I would have lost, but... Maybe you guys could tell me that in the comment section below because I am kind of new to the whole competitive battling scene. So you guys can let me know in the comment section below. What do you think? Like, would I have won? Was my team even possible? Was it even possible for my team to win? Just let me know. And I'm going to go ahead and move on to the third battle for today. And this will be the final battle of today. So this guy's team is made up of a Frostless, Frostless, B Sharp, Volcarona, Chansey, Dragog, and e Electivire. I almost fucked up there, but I got it out. And I'm going to go ahead and start off with my Azumarill. Now, my Azumarill is going to go ahead and go for the Substitute, of course. And I'm going to go ahead and set up with the Belly Drum and things. And basically, I can just play rough most of this team, if I'm not mistaken. He's setting up the spikes. So I'm going to go ahead and use this Belly Drum. Then he goes for the taunt, which stops me from using, of course, Belly Drum and Substitute after these turns. Now, I'm going to go ahead and go for this Play Rough. Regardless, I mean, Play Rough generally does a lot of damage, but I'm not sure what it does on Ice and Ghost types. So we're just going to have to see here. And it actually does pretty good. It does like 47%, no, 57%, my bad. And I can't use it again, but I'm going to go for this Hydro Pump here. He disables my play rough, so basically he's he basically just took down my whole Azumarill setup, and it's really kind of it's really kind of hoish here because like I don't really have anything I can do besides the fact that now I can belly drum again, but I don't have my play rough. Maybe I should have went for the hydro pump. I don't know. So he's gonna go for the destiny wall, and of course, it's just gonna take me out. And really, I don't really need this thing anymore, so I'm not really gonna sweat it too too much. I'm gonna go for my Ampharos switch in, due to the fact that I actually need no. Wait, can I cancel? Damn it. Fuck, it went too fast. But I was going to go ahead and stop that, and I was going to go ahead and go in with my Aerodactyl. Now, I'm going to go ahead and use Ampharos with the Fire Punch, just to see how much I can actually do to this B-Sharp. Some of you guys are probably watching this video, like, right now and saying, no, don't do it, don't do it. it but, you know, I'm... I'm kind of going for these desperation moves here because, like how I said, I am new here, but, and I do want to generally give you guys some good content, especially on my first video, so I can't have, like, too many losses and shit, so these desperation hits, so far, they've been doing me justice, so I'm just going to go ahead and, I'm not going to ride that, but, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and hang on to those moments, so let's go ahead and see what this Aerodactyl can do for me here. And right now, the main thing I need you to do, Aerodactyl, if you before you even die, is just go ahead and defog this battlefield, please. Defog this battlefield real fast, real quickly. And he actually gets it off, and I'm happy because now he can't set up any more Stealth Rocks. Nothing like that. All of that stuff is out of the picture for both of us because, of course, I just lost my Stealth Rocker. So now I'm wondering, who the hell should I go in with? And this thing... It's poison type, and I don't really know what the hell I have against poison. But I do know what I have against dragons, which is my swamper. And I'm going to go ahead and go for a avalanche. Now, he might do sludge bomb. If he's faster, he could wind up actually taking a very, very good, like, a very, very good chunk margin shitload out of my health. So, we're just going to go ahead and go ahead and go with these avalanches. 
I'm hoping I'm hoping that we can get like a good critical hit and just like do some pretty good damage on this thing because of course he is setting this defense up he must already know I'm getting my leftovers taking the poison hits but I'm still trying to stay in this baby let's go he's at times four defense now and we're still kind of generally doing the same amount of damage not the same not the exact same but we're doing like around the same amount of damage and he's also healing here is he no he's not healing okay so I'm actually, I've actually brought him down into, well, he is, wait, okay, so he has Black Sludge, so he is healing here, guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and go for the Earthquake, shit, might as well take him out faster than what I'm doing, because I already have Poison, and I'm missing too many Pokemon already, I gotta level out this battlefield, he's probably gonna switch into the Volcarona and thinking that I'm gonna go for it. I mean, knowing that I'm going to go for it and then come back out with something else. No, he actually stays in and he takes the death. So, I'm not really sure what the hell is going to go on here. This battle is, like, already getting me tense and shit. I'm all hype. I'm tight. I'm all ready. <laughs> Baby, we going in for the final stretch. This is the final battle, of course, too, guys. I already said it. I'm hoping I can beat this guy for you guys. And if I do, subscribe for that win. Ampharos is going to go for that fire punch, baby. It's all over. I'm going to go for the vote switch. I should go first. Generally, I should go first. He goes for another sucker punch. He hits me, so I'm not going to sweat it. I'm going to put him at zero health, and I'm going to switch out into this Breloom because of the fact that I know he's going to come out with this Volcarona right now. And basically, I know he's going to get destroyed when Volcarona comes out here. But basically what I wanted to do was just go ahead and hit this thing like, fuck you, bitch. Because I basically don't even need my Breloom anymore. There's nothing my Breloom can do for me here. Except for actually take out this Volcarona. So hit him. Well, he's probably going to take me out this time. And I wanted to ask, like, is Vol does Volcarona have, like, multiple shiny colors? Because this is, like, the third different color I've seen before Volcarona. So I'm not really sure on that, like... Maybe you guys can let me know in the comment section below, like always. Because I don't know shit. Fucking new here and shit. Alright, so he's going to hit me with a fiery dance, of course. The legendary move. Well, it's not legendary, but the most common move from a Volcarona. I'm going to go ahead and go for a King Shield here. Let's see what he's going to do. He might go for a switch. He's not going to go for a switch. He's going to try to go ahead and go for another fiery dance. Mmm... I don't want my Ampharos to come out and die here. And I'm feeling like I should go for a Shadow Sneak. I'll just do it just for the hell of it. Go for a quick Shadow Sneak. He's, of course, he's going to take me out with a Fiery Dance. Boop. That's it for that. And now we have, like, shit. I don't think I'm going to win this one for you guys. So still hit that subscribe button, though. Shit got me tight. Hold up. We're going to go ahead and go for the Thunder. Fuck that. Fuck that boy. We're going to go ahead and go for this thunder real quick. He's going to hit me with a bug buzz. And that's going to be the end of the battle, guys. Thank you guys for tuning in. Of course, I had a lot of fun playing this game for you guys. Like, it was extraordinary being able to do this. It's a blessing to be able to do this for you guys and with you guys, actually. Because eventually, I will be moving into live Pokemon Showdown videos where you guys can just ask me to play like in the live comments and stuff and we can all just play and have a lot of fun and shit just build teams like do this perfect stuff especially with pokemon omega ruby and alpha sapphire my favorite generation coming back into the fray hopefully i'll be able to cover that for you guys hopefully i can find a way to do it because i really 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 want to cover this heck i'm even starting a pokemon emerald series like once we get closer so be on the lookout for that and go ahead and hit that subscribe button for that in the future and for more pokemon showdown in the future as well this is amazi TV. Don't forget to do a little A-Class Gaming and peace the hell out gamers.